Welcome back. If you've been following along, you'll know that we're working on the armour of God. In the first week, we learned about the belt of truth. In the second week, we learned about the breastplate of righteousness. And the third week, last week, we learned about the shoes of peace. So this week, we're going to learn about the next part of the armour of God. But first, we need to read what the Bible says. So, let's get comfy in our seats, and let's read about what the Bible says. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armour, so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armour of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news, so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, Hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. It says we have to hold up a shield of faith. And what people use their shields for is to stop the arrows or the swords of the enemy hitting them. So they'll have this big shield that will cover their body and they'll hide behind it so they don't get hit by the, by the fiery arrows of the devil, the Bible says. So today, we're going to make our own shield. So we'll go and do that now, shall we? Okay, so this time we need a piece of card for our main part of our shield. Or I found an old tray of mine. So I'm going to maybe use this, or you can use your cardboard. And we also need a strip of cardboard. This is going to be our handle for our arm to fit through. We also need scissors, and I've got um, duct tape, but you could use cell tape. Whatever you've got lying about. So I'm going to cut this into a shield shape. So I'm just going to make it a bit more oval. You can have whatever. Uh, shape of shield you want. I really enjoyed making that craft and making my shield and wearing all the armour that I have so far and I hope you do too. How about we make it into a little competition and you can send in your picture for us to see and we can have a competition adults versus children and see who makes the best uh, armour. That would be fun. Well, I'll see you all next week. Bye everyone.